hi there and welcome to my first book review on my channel i started with this book because this book has given me a different perspective about how to live a life without worrying about a lot of things and focusing on what is really important so these are my top seven lessons from the book the subtle art of not giving an f so this book is something that has given me an understanding of how to focus on the important things of life and i'm going to share with you my top seven lessons i had a lot of lessons from reading the book but i've distilled all of them into these the seven lessons and i hope they help you to live a life that you truly truly deserve my first lesson is you are not different number two we are 100 percent responsible for whatever happens in our lives my third lesson is suffering is essential to growth and my fourth lesson is the desire for more positive experience is for itself a negative experience only give an F about what's truly F worthy. It is important to stop and be content with what you have once in a while. That's number six. And the seventh lesson is you have to care less because when you care less, it only leads to better things. Before we start with the lessons, I would kindly entreat you to subscribe to my channel before we continue. Click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That way, whenever I upload a new video and I'm uploading a new video every almost every other day, you will get notifications so you can get to watch i'm making this honest appeal because i need to grow this channel and i need to invest into new gadgets like getting a new microphone or getting a new camera to produce quality videos to help you live your dreams and become what you dream of but in order to do that i need to grow the channel and be able to monetize it for me to do that i need at least 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours according to youtube specification so i need you to help me get to 1000 subscribers subscribe right now click on the bell icon so you can get notifications so you watch the videos and share with five to ten of your friends thank you so much i love you guys so begin with the first lesson from the top seven lessons from the book the subtle art of not giving an f is you are not different let me explain whenever something happens to us especially something negative we either feel like we are special and so we ask the question why me why is this thing happening to me is it because i'm too special the, the universe has singled me out to punish me or something no or you feel like you are a victim and whatever happened to you you deserve it when you start thinking that way you are going to be stuck in a loop and you will not be able to go forward you are not different whatever is happening to you is happening to other people around the world and he says it this way people who feel entitled view every occurrence in their life as either an affirmation of or a threat to their own greatness so they begin to feel like this shouldn't happen to me or this should happen to me because i deserve it no you are not different from other people around the world all you have to do is acknowledge what is happening learn your lessons and grow from it lesson number two we are a hundred percent responsible for our life event whenever you start blaming other people circumstances for what is happening in your life you give up the power to cause a change so you have to accept the fact that whatever happens whatever po happens whether positive or negative i i am responsible in the moment i'm able to say i am responsible it's put me in a place of power to have control over the situation and to start looking for solutions so don't blame other people for your circumstances it doesn't matter what happens to you even if you walk through the road and you get knocked down by a car you can't blame the reckless driver because you could have left the house five or ten minutes early on or you could have earlier or you could have watched left and right a second time before you cross or maybe you could have delayed a bit before you go to the road it doesn't matter what happens to you you always need to find a way of asking yourself what could i have done better how can i improve this how can i solve this instead of looking for who to blame the moment you go out there looking for people to blame you give up your power of making corrections the day you look up to people to blame them for what is happening in your own life you have lost the power to cause a change so don't give blames don't apportion blames accept the fact that we are 100 percent responsible for whatever happens in our lives often the only difference between a problem being painful or being powerful is a sense that we choose it and that we are responsible for it lesson number three suffering is essential 
to your growth it is a pain is essential because let's say i'm sitting on this chair and i'm feeling pain because i'm uncomfortable with a chair i will be forced to get up and find a more comfortable chair and when i do that i will have to change my position that is what happens in life whenever something negative happens it forces you to to look for a new way of being comfortable and that is change and so whenever something happens don't see every negative experience as a bad experience because it is biological it is what pushes us as animals to cause a change so if you're not feeling pain if you're not having pain in your life you're not growing and so you need to understand that suffering is essential to your growth if you, look, if you are looking for the path of least dis resistance, sorry, then you can't grow because you have to go through challenges to grow. And he put it this way. You suffer for the simple reason that suffering is biologically useful. It is nature's preferred agent for inspiring change. If you become uncomfortable with your life situation, you will be forced to cause a change or find something new that will make you comfortable. And so that's the meaning of it. You have to understand that when you face obstacles, challenges in your life, these things are not there to push you down, but to help you grow to the person who you really want to be. Lesson number four, the desire for more positive experience is for itself a negative experience. Some people are always looking for happiness, joy. They don't want anything to do with like bad experiences. So they're always looking for whenever they encounter anything negative, they want to run away and go to the place where they can find a positive experience. But if you understand that life, is not just black and white or life is not just straightforward sometimes you need these negatives to develop like we develop the negatives in the darkness we need to develop ourselves through these negative experiences and so the desire for more positive experience is for itself a negative experience and paradoxically the acceptance of one's negative experience it is itself a positive experience for example, if I go to my backyard and I see wheat in the garden, I don't have to stand there and deny the fact that there are wheat in my garden by saying there are no wheat, there are no wheat, there are no wheat. Uh, what is what affirmations and positive uh, uh, my thinking and then acclamations or those positive voice teaches that you have to say good things to yourself. You have to always imagine the positive thing. Yes. But you don't have to deny what negative things are happening to you. You just have to accept it. And that is what is going to give you the power, the positive experience you need to overcome it. So don't always be out there looking for the positive, but embrace the negative, learn from it and grow. That is how you become better at who you are and what you do. Lesson number five, pick your battles wisely. Invest your energy where it matters. And he says it in a way, I'll get to that very soon. The world is full of opinions. Everybody is telling you what to do, what to eat, what to wear, where to go, who to marry or who to be with in a relationship. Especially in our internet crazy world, everybody is giving you an idea, bombarding you what to do. Or there are a lot of things that will attract your attention. But don't go out there fighting every battle, doing everything because everyone else is talking about it. Know where to invest your energy because you will need it. You will need it when the time comes for you to do what is right and what you really want to do. Maturity is what happens when one learns to only give an F about what is truly F worthy. So before you do anything, before you say yes to anything, ask yourself, is this thing truly F worthy? If, it, if it's not, then don't give an F. Lesson number six. It is important to stop and be content with what you have once in a while. We are often fixated with what we want that we forget what we have. And because we do that, we don't take the time to appreciate the little things we have. You are alive. That is the most important thing you need to remember all the time. When you wake up in the morning, understand the fact that you are alive. And that is more important because if you are dead, then it's game over. But once you are still here, alive on earth there's something more for you to do so you, you need to stop and imbibe that feeling i am alive it's important you need to understand that and then take your time to smell the flowers hear the birds sing look at what is happening around you don't just be chasing one thing after the other i'm going to get this i'm going to school and then you're going to get a new job and travel to a new place you don't stop to appreciate what you have in your life the people around you your loved ones by the time you stop no one will be there for you and then you realize that all the things you've been chasing is not going to give you fulfillment so it is important to stop and be content with what you have once 
in a while. The more you pursue feeling better all the time, the less satisfied you become as pursuing something on a ray enforces the fact that you lack it in the first place. Because if you're always trying to be happy, going after something more, there's always something more, there's always something more. When are you going to stop to appreciate what you've done or how far you've come? Instead of just focusing on how far you want to go, you need to also have time to look at, I am not there yet, but I can appreciate that I have come far and I'm not where I used to be. With that, with this kind of thinking, you begin to appreciate the little things you have and the accomplishments you've made. That will give you the strength, the confidence to continue on the journey to your better end. Lesson number seven, careless because that is going to lead to better things. You see, if you care about a lot of things, then that means you care about nothing. You need to focus on what your priorities are. And until you do that, you are going to get yourself worried about a lot of things. An incident happened in the Bible where Jesus Christ went to see his friend. He had two sisters, Mary and Martha. And Martha was trying to prepare dinner for Jesus, trying to serve him food, water, trying to get a lot of things in place. Meanwhile, Mary just sat under the feet of Jesus and was talking, having a conversation, listening to him preach, say things to her. And then Martha came and said, why won't Jesus ask Mary to come and help her in the kitchen, get the food ready? And then Jesus said something. He said, Martha, Martha, you worry about a lot of things. A lot of us are like that. We get so burdened about a lot of things that we don't pause to care about the things that we really need to care about. And so when the time comes for us to invest our energy in what is really important, we are expended it doing the unnecessary things. So you need to care less because that is what is going to lead to better things. If you conserve your energy for the important things, when the time comes, you will be ready to pursue the right things or the better things of your life. Prioritize your values and decide on what to give an F about. Simply, when you give better Fs, you get better problems. And this is the whole essence of personal development. You need to focus on what is important to you and what you want to invest your time and your energy and your money into it. If a book is not important to me, I don't have to read it because it's not going to contribute to me becoming a better person because we are always evolving, becoming, becoming, and not just being we need to be in the process of becoming better at who, you, who we are and what we do. So these are my top seven lessons. We are at the end of the video. If you are here, thank you for watching to the end. Once again, I entreat you to kindly subscribe and click on the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. And please share with your friends, at least five of your friends and get them to subscribe to help this channel get to 1000 subscribers and build 4,000 watch hours so we can grow and produce you quality and quality and top-notch content for you to become your dream. I would ask you again to like the video, share, leave your comments in the comment section. If there's a lesson that you learned from the top seven lessons I shared with you, leave me your best lesson. Which of these seven lessons are you taking away and applying in your own life? If there's a lesson you learned reading the book, which I haven't shared here, Please leave it as well so other people can read and take away. And there's a book you want me to review. Please leave it in the comment section as well. I'm going to get to work right away and review it, sharing with you my top seven lessons. You don't need to read all the books. You just have to come here and I'm going to give you what you need to hear to apply in your, in your life to make your life better. I'm going to leave a link to my first book, Become Your Dream, in the description. You can find it on Amazon, both hard paper and ebook format available. You can check out my other books through my Amazon link in the description. But most importantly, I want you to share this video with your friends and I want you to subscribe and click on the bell icon so this channel will grow and get to 1000 subscribers. I love you all and thank you for doing this with me. We are doing this together and we are going to grow together. We are going to look back on when we started. I want you to be part of the people who form the first community out here. I love you. See you in the next video when I do the next book review. Thank you.